Yep, that's her. Uh oh. Let's see. Hi, y'all. How are you? Uh, let's see here. This one is our parts donor. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, there's no saving this one because that piston got scored up real bad. But it's got everything else we need. Gas tank a little bit. We've also got the gas tank here to the other. Ooh, good lord. There. Guess what? This. On? Yeah. Back there. Coil. All right. Pull this down. So, what are we doing, guys? We've got two chainsaws here. Fast work time, as I'm told. This is a good engine. It was a runner, but the coil was taken from it to be put on a Pro Mac 1010 with electronic ignition. The only difference is the wire's longer. That's it. This one has a squirt piston. It's bad, but. It has the good parts I need, such as the air box top here, to put on the replacement one here. I just noticed this one's missing its coil too. I've got those outside. We got I'll go back up in the loft without you guys to get it. So I know it's a good one is because the muffler was left on it and it was parted out. This one is bad because it was checked. That is right there. I don't know how well you can see. There it is. The light a little indirect. So, this is the bad one. And that is our good one. So, that's what we will be doing. Making a good one from two. Of course, those are clear up in the loft, so I'll be right back with that coil. Well, there they are. In the back corner. Alright, I know for a fact that's got a rebuilt wall, bro, because I rebuilt it, but this saw wouldn't run for some reason. And I can't remember which carburetor this one has. I don't think it, no, it doesn't have it, okay. I think that was a Zama. But, they both had spark. So, we need the coil. We're gonna steal that wall bro carb too. We're just gonna take the whole saw with us inside. All right, all right. That's gonna take three to get one, this one, to run. So, let's get everybody. So, from this one, pretty much all the body, the gas tank, because it's clean from the looks of it, off of it. And instead of taking the assembly off of this and put on this as a replacement, the aluminum part, we'll take it off the other donor one. But let's get, we gotta get everything off the other. We gotta get stuff off of this one first and then get it off the donors. So, first thing we're gonna check, excuse me, first thing we're gonna check is to make sure this coil has ignition on this and I did rebuild this carb so should be good to go on that I knew it did I had another one somewhere I think it was a Zama honestly so let me get everything set up here off of this there's our coil we need get the 
that spark plug out, get a drill on it, we'll rotate it real quick and make sure everything is fine. All right. We are zooming in to look. You know, I can do this one. Don't need to zoom in. No zooms. No zoom. Look at that. And I even put a new spark plug in this one. Can you believe that? So, didn't even know that. So. We've got good ignition. So the coil is good. Take that off. We will take the air box off. And that carburetor. All right, a little quick montage is done for us. Little time lapse. Coil installation, like I said. So, everybody remember the get points? I mean, not the points gap, because there's no points. The air gap? Come on, somebody should know. That's right. Yep, you said it correct. Figured I'd have you all on for this one real quick, and then we'll, uh... Yeah, that, uh, the donor one has a Xana carb. Yeah. You know, I never, never really liked them, even though it worked. I like the, uh, the Marlboros better. And I can see why they put the coil up up front on this. Help with a better cooling to the uh, keeps it away from the cylinder over here, heat soaking it up and everything. So, all right, let's get our brass one there. Point zero one zero. Where's our gap? On this one, I can get away with doing two for one deal. So once you get it in the first one there, you can slide it down to the second. I hope you guys can see. Almost should have removed that handle. There we go. That's the first. And we can just hopefully shimmy that down to there. Are you happy? Alright, there's that. Press the coil up against the flywheel. And tighten. Get the clickety clack here. No contact, not even the magnet side, so we will pull that spark plug out since we've got a nice new one right here. Switch is hooked up, and maybe we'll have spark. Who's under us? You, get out. Figured I'd have you in for this because this is the important part. Some people say, just use a business card. And it's like, well, I like to, while I'm here, let's just do this correctly while we've got the tools, right? 
they ran a little ran a little rich but I don't see a lean I don't see a burnout or nothing so that's good get our attachment onto our drill here put on the fly whoa this flywheel's got a much bigger nut on it <coughs> this and that's a really loose one we'll go with the metric I'm pretty sure that's what this one is a little bigger than that seventeen it is well these were made by black and Decker so everybody can see here yep we've got ignition Now we got that, we might go back to a time lapse of tossing stuff together. So, just for saving of time. Look at that spark arrestor. It's so bad somebody had to pu push holes into it. So uh, we may cut some of that out here and uh, or even try to actually take it out if I can get a screwdriver from a top and uh, get that figured out. That is, that's bad. <laughs> there, got that removed. There's uh, better than those two holes somebody put in. It wasn't running. All right. After that lovely encore, let's put a little prime downer to cheat, shall we? Maybe. That switch is on. pump tank fuel now I couldn't tell you if I've been in this carburetor before or not but no fuel so 
not pumping fuel. But I sucked on the gas line, and what came out didn't taste like gasoline at first. It, it isn't pumping to the carburetor. So we'll open up the back side of this and see what's going on. But this side is perfectly dry, and it's clean. So you guys see the problem, don't you? Took this cover off, and that is supposed to be that Teflon strip. It's supposed to be right here to act as valves. I don't think I was inside this carburetor on this one. Because I don't remember rebuilding one and that was on the other one that's up in the loft still. So that is supposed to be like that. Because I sucked on the fuel line. Delicious as gasoline tastes. It was clear and free. So let's get her put back together and see if that was our problem. <laughs> back in and change that ignition switch i forgot to test that and that was on my mind so all right everybody well we got her back i got this one back to life so thanks for hanging out it's nice uh finally back to a winter day well, i don't know if you guys can see my breath but bring a nice mccullough 610 pro max 610 back from the dead so we will keep seeing more like this like, comment, subscribe. We've got a whole bunch more ahead of us. Until then, thanks for watching, everybody. Bet that was our problem. <laughs> <laughs>